This is the homework for Lesson 25. We're in Grade 3, Module 5. And please write your name here first. Label the following models as fractions inside the boxes. So if a triangle is a whole, this is 1, 2, 3, 4 equal pieces. So it's 4 fourths. Now each triangle is a whole, so we have fractions that are halves, and there are one, two, three, four halves. And remember, a triangle is still a whole, so we have one, two, three, four holes. So this is how you write it to make it look like a fraction four holes because they're all made of one equal piece so it's four ones for holes so now a circle is a hole and this is one two three four five six seven eight, eight equal pieces so this is eight eighths shaded in and these are chopped up into fourths and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So there's eight fourths. And these are all holes. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. So that's eight holes like that. Fill in the missing hole numbers in the boxes below the number line. Rename the holes as fractions in the boxes above the number line. So we're just practicing writing, getting used to the look of writing a whole number as a fraction. Uh, so this would be zero, right? And our denominator across, right? So our unit is, that's our fractional unit. So it's zero holes, two holes, three holes, four holes. Wait a minute. Oh, we're skipping. We're counting by twos. Oh, I'm going to pay attention here. Got to get carried away. So this is four holes, and this is six holes, and this is going to be 12 holes. And here we go, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we're counting by ones. And below the line, we're just writing regular whole numbers. But above the line, we have to write them as fractions. So we've got 18. In between 18 and 20 is 19. And I'm counting backwards from 17. And we can see just right here, the numerator is going to be our whole number. Nineteen holes, twenty holes, and twenty-one holes. Explain the difference between these fractions with words and pictures. So let's draw a picture of this is words and pictures. So I'm going to draw a picture of five holes. Let's say this is a hole, is a rectangle that looks like this. Or, yeah, and you know what, just for fun, let's draw circles. It's a bit of a pain to draw fifths in circles, but there's a bit of a trick to it, and we'll just give it, a, we'll just give it a try. So we have to say that this equals one hole. So five holes equals and try and get the circles to be about the same size as best you can. And five fifths is 
one whole circle divided into fifths. Now, circle, now fifths is going to look kind of like, uh, the way I think of it is a starfish. So then they all have to come out from the center. So we've got a head. We've got two arms and two legs. And that's how I try to get fifths to come out. And I can label, we can label these. It, it might be better to draw a bigger circle if you can make the room for it. And I'm going to label all of these one fifth. And these are all just whole ones. And uh, now I need to say Five over one, five ones is five holes, and five fifths is only one hole. <laughs> 